How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Maniacal, and today's matter is GTA Online. Now, I heard that there's going to be a Doomsday Heist coming up pretty soon, or at least there is right now. And I purchased a bunch of this stuff already, but I just wanted to go through and do a little bit of a pre-setup video while I wait for my friends to get back online and a bunch of other fun stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I actually want to do a, a recording of the heist itself, but I just also want to go through and actually check everything out and see what it's all about. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. First up on the list is the base. Alright, so the first thing is first, I want to show off this base. Nice crew logo. Really need to figure out how to do the transparent sides on this thing. What else? Eh. Oh yeah, the jetpack. So I purchased the jetpack, the tank, and I think there might have been one more thing I purchased. Yeah, the car. Uh, I already upgraded the car just a little bit, meaning I more or less just painted it with all my fun colors and stuff like that. You can check that out. Um, I, I think a lot of people have already done videos on the car itself, but I definitely will be playing around with this in a minute. Let's see, what else do we have in here? I'm not going to start the heist yet. Um, I know there's probably a bunch of missions that go with it, but this will be my first time flying this thing. Enter the workshop. We'll do this first. That's it, okay. Exit the facility. And I'm struggling. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's cool. I mean, it's not the fastest thing in the world, because I thought it would be a little bit faster with it, but it's not bad. I mean, it's cool for what it is. It's a jetpack. So, I mean, there we go. That's that. Whee! Going down's kind of a pain. I'll try to lean forward if we'll go any faster. Let's see how does this look. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That is pretty cool. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> it's a kind of weird design. Sit down. That is a very weird bench. It really messes with my OCD. Alright, anyway. Um, Alright, so let's design this tank here. This is freaking gnarly. I heard that you could do a, uh, a rail gun with this thing. Alright. 
enter the workshop. And that's pretty much it for that. All right, let's uh, exit the facility and test this thing out real quick. Oh, this is making me happy already. This thing handles pretty nice. I will say that. I do like it. Uh, oh. oh, okay. Oh, you can charge the beam. That makes it so much more worth it. Purchase an Avenger with a vehicle workshop from... to modify this vehicle. Oh, this thing. Three million. Wow. Alright, now that I've done that... Oh, that's where it is. Okay. I did not see that before. There we go. Now I can modify this. Alright, so I learned a little bit when I purchased this originally. Um, if you push the A button on your controller, it lets you hover, which is freaking awesome. Yeah, you can float over water like crazy. Yeah. Like, how can you argue with that being freaking awesome? Machine gun missiles, okay. But you can also do like this, and get a good running start. Pull back in the joystick, and you're flying in a freaking car. Yeah, this thing definitely made me happy. It's one of those really cool vehicles that has a lot of really cool effects and stuff like that. I doubt this will be an amazing race vehicle. But from what I see so far, it's actually not that bad. No. I really do like this, even in just for the sheer fact that you have a hover vehicle. I wonder if I stay in hover mode, if I'll stay hovered mode again. Let's see. <laughs> no, bummer. Still cool though. Still very, very cool. You can fly in a car. Now all I need is a uh, submarine version. Because I think I saw a submarine version of the car in a uh, preview. Which I think, yes, that would be a very fun addition. Hello. <laughs> Christmas lights? Oh, that's really cool. Enter the cockpit. Hmm. <laughs> That's a pretty good speed to it. Um, yeah, I definitely like the design of it. And bam. Cool. Oh jeez, I wonder if the thing can even fit the doors. I just like yeah, I was about to say they'd have to fold the wings like that. Oh, that's a fun little detail. I like that. Very awesome. Very smart. <laughs> is this the aqua vehicle? This is the aqua vehicle. Okay. 
So I do need to buy this one. So buy it now. Alright, submarine car. money on this stuff. Uh, this helicopter. Okay, so this is like a... Alright, I'll just buy all of them. Screw it. Eh, purchased. job why are you here? this is a military facility or like a freaking eh, whatever I, mean, I still have access to my weapons but okay what is this place lockers and then another security card I'll just take that thank you <laughs> This. this is completely pointless. There's a freaking minigun right there. This is a use. Uh, whatever. Fine. Ooh, okay. Yep, I will just take all of these. Thank you. Oh, can I take the candy? Oh, please tell me I can take the candy. Oh, come on. What do you need? Well, you're not Margaret. I'm used to Margaret. I need to come up with a name for you. Oh, what would your name be? What do you look like? You look like a... I'm gonna call you Natalie. Yeah, I think you're Natalie. And what would your name be? Christopher. Natalie and Christopher. Officially named. Okay. I don't know if I'd ever actually want to own a facility like this. I mean, it's kind of cool and everything, but... Holy crap. I think this would be a pretty cool place to live. As a matter of fact, let's just set this as my spawn location. There we go. And I, I stuck with the uh, teal theme for this room and the wavy designs for the walls and stuff like that because I thought that would be pretty cool. Um, let's see. As for clothing, for this heist, uh, I was going through all the different stuff and I thought why not do kind of a themed blue kind of camouflage style and you know I'm just gonna keep wearing that and the eyes on this thing holy crap the eyes on this are just like why would you need this many <laughs> things I thought that was ridiculous but awesome I kind of wish that you could like see a bunch of different modes with this like heat vision night vision and just keep going through all the different stuff no more locked doors. 
Oh, can you eat the fruit? You can sit down. Oh, come on. If you're gonna add something like that, add an animation. <laughs> oh, definitely happy holidays to everyone. Drink gin. Through the mask. Mm -mm. I'm imagining you can get into here. Okay, so this is the giant laser room from what I remember. Orbital cannon room. To use the orbital cannon. Oh, what am I going to be able to do here? This is a really cool way to kind of get a nice view. Cool. I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Especially because you can look around for free. It's like satellite vision. I guess I don't really need to be able to read this stuff. I guess he could if he got really stupidly close. But it might just be mumbo jumbo. Even if I could read it. Uh, let's see. Snacks. Nice. Please share the same desktop. This one has something different. Something's downloading you. Or initiating. Huh. Okay, cool. Mm, server room? No, this is. Of course I. Oh, didn't mean to do yes, that. Yes, come in, come in, come in. Have a seat anywhere. This is the one room in the country where we cannot be recorded. Can I take this mask off now? <laughs> Do you know Avon Hertz? Avon Hertz. Yes, the Avon Hertz. Don't act all weird. I'm just a normal genius. I do very normal things, like kite surf with presidents and date B-list actresses. I bleed real tears. This is real hair. I program, and I have actual emotions. I'm sort of like one of those human things once. that is good <laughs> at lots of things. Why isn't this person talking? Just, uh, don't worry about it. Mr. Hertz took his first company public when he was 22 years old. Uh, 21 and three quarters. I was worth a billion five by the time I was 25. I'm trying to save the smart. world, for fuck's sake, man. If it'll let me. Yvonne was helping the IAA, the government. Helping the government? I was trying to be the government. My work with artificial intelligence. Thinking only better. That's my slogan, by the way. I was trying to guide the government through a security and ethics nightmare it had stumbled into. When whoosh, I'm told, no thanks. It's a fucking joke, but I'm not laughing. Uh, Avon is worried that someone's trying to start a war. I'm not worried about it. I'm certain of it. The only <laughs> problem is, I just don't know who exactly. And worse, Clifford doesn't know who. Clifford, that's his supercomputer. Ah, uh, it's a neural network of supercomputers. Clifford is a problem-solving facility. Say hello, Clifford. You're embarrassing me, Avon. I'm blushing. Give Clifford data and no more problem. Clifford was on to something, but now the data is gone. Gone? It has to be the Russians. Or the North Koreans. Or the Iranians. <laughs> or the Chinese using a proxy agent. Or the fact all of them. <laughs> is, if we cannot figure out who is behind these data breaches, then Clifford is useless. If we can get paid, of course we can help. There are three data thefts I need you to unbreach, rebreach, broach. I'm a natural communicator. I'm a. Uh... Hey, you're getting off topic. No, this is the topic. How I've been treated, how I've been mistreated. It's an American tragedy. Kill the clever genius so that numbskulls could take cheap bribes. Yeah, I'll pay. I'll pay whatever it takes. We'll uh, need serious cash. Six figures, minimum. No problem. My share price is through the roof. Look, 
Three problems. Three easy enough solutions. Could you stop talking like you're giving a keynote speech, please? Do I do that? Yes! Three data thefts. 250 trillion data points in enemy hands. Three simple solutions. One, data courier. Murdered on the streets of Los Santos. Bodies at the morgue. Ah, the morgue. You'll have to steal an ambulance to get in there. Old fashioned. Analog. I love it. Retro. Problem two. Four of these vans are beaming vast amounts of previously secure military data. You'll need cars to track them down. I have a sort of friend who has some cars you can borrow here. Okay, that sounds easy enough. What's the third? The big new server farm in Palomino has been compromised. I'm certain of it. No one believed me, and I have no idea how to prove it. But if someone could get inside... Oh, just give me a minute. I know these uh, stealth helicopters. These things. Huh? <laughs> now, uh, Avon, these all do seem a bit random. Of course they seem random, because you are not a supercomputer. Clifford will solve it for us. Just give us more data about the data so we can data it. All right, well, um, get to work and good luck. Pleasure to meet you. You look nice in that shirt, Avon. I like your hair. Thank you. Progkillclifford.exe all right, well, I guess that was the video. I wasn't expecting to see that until the actual heist time, but cool. Um, the Doomsday Heist Setup. So we're setting up for the setup. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this video. I think up until the point of me actually playing, I'm going to stick with the Krampus look because Christmas time, I think I just need to stick with Krampus. But uh, yeah, um, up until the heist, I will be ready for it, I think. I have all the vehicles I need, I have everything all upgraded and set. So it should be a quick and easy heist whenever we actually do get around to it. So. Thanks for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and don't forget that you matter. Bye bye. <laughs> got one bong, two bong, red bong, blue bong. <laughs> plate, plate, plate. Broken plate. Oh my goodness, I just walked through a door without any issues. Oh, that was... <laughs>